Hey guys, um, beers in a shed, uh, Christmas special you could say. Um, 13 days before Christmas. Uh, no uh, lovely assistants helped me today. They're off at a um, Christmas party. A beers in a shed Christmas party. Hang on, that's mine. Hang on, I've got to go to the Christmas party. But I hurry up and do this one. Um, Pioneer Brewing Co. Tropical Express Hazy Pale Ale. How's that? Look at that. Black can. It is uh, May. What is it? 375 mil can. 4% ABV. Made with 99% Pioneer Grown Malt. It's made in uh, New South Wales in Bowen Park. So it's an independently owned, farmed and brewed in regional Australia. So, Tropical Express, so that means fruity flavours, eh? eh? Fruity flavours in this one. Um, yeah, so let's crack it open. Oh, well, it's a boy. Yeah, straight away you can taste that fruitiness. Yeah, call that headman. Look at that. Cloudy. Taste it from here first. Just seen a lot of sediment in there then. What's the date on this can? Maybe been ripped off again. No use by date. Oh yeah, here we go. Well, it's only had got about another six weeks left on it. Best. Yeah, anyway, it's all right. Not too bad, not too bad at all, for a fruity one. You know I'm not a big uh, fan on the fruity ones. There's that there, still, it's a cloudy beer. Very hazy, yeah. Probably why it's called, what's well, called hazy pale ale on it. <sighs> hazy pale ale, right there at the bottom. Not too bad, guys. For a fruity, if you like your tropical um, fruity flavoured uh, beers, it's not too bad. So, as well as if you can't drink it. I'll give it a seven. Rather a nice uh, traditional um, ale or lager, no fruit. You know what I think about the fruit business? Keep it out of beers. <sighs> anyway guys, I'll probably do another one before Christmas, but just in case I don't, uh, Merry Christmas. And so, on another note guys, I'm going to be starting another uh, YouTube channel. Um, this one is going to be, I'll, in, I'll be doing beers in a shed and this other one, I, I like to keep busy. Um, the other one's going to be called, well it is called, I've already named it, it's a fork and knife. So uh, it's to do with a bit of um, cooking, cooking outdoors on, you know, um, the Weber barbecue, um, hot coal barbecues, uh, fire pits, or all, all stuff like that that you can do at home or away when you, you're camping, holidaying, caravanning, whatever you do. Um, as long as you can have a fire or a gas barbecue somewhere, you should be able to do these meals I'm going to prepare and make. Um, a lot of them I haven't done before, some I have. Um, uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy that one. Uh, but yeah, I'll still be um, doing the beers in the shed. I'll be doing probably beers while I'm cooking, 
Um, but yeah, hopefully you get a kick out of that one too. Anyway, I'm off to the um, beers in a shed Christmas party now. So, g'day and see ya. Well, thanks for the invite to my own um, beers in a shed Christmas party. Didn't think you'd keep it a secret, did you? No, it wasn't too busy um, doing another video. Well, I did one. Another fruity one. Yep, you know what I think about that. Anyway. Look out, girls. Here's Bill. Yes. No, we all know that you know that you didn't know that we knew that. Obviously, we all knew, but you didn't know. Yes. Sorry. Ding! <sighs> yes, yes, I know. Yeah. Oh, hi, Phil. No, we didn't hide it from you. No, no, no. Yes, I know. He's a fucking idiot, isn't he? He makes a fool out of himself when he does these beers in the shed videos. And then he tries to blame us for the for his shitness. <laughs> oh, hi, Phil. No. We thought you knew about it. Oh, sorry. Merry Christmas all. Yes, all three years. <laughs>